Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Terret, not ferret, Terret. Terret Blanc, uh, Terre Blanc, uh, from Villa Blanche, uh, Les Cépages Anciens, Une Création Carmel et Joseph. Uh, so Terret's the great variety, and um, I, I mean, what's it say on the back? Uh, one of Languedoc's oldest grape variety, overlooked throughout the 20th century, currently experiencing a revival. Well, let's see whether it's worth the revival. Something about the smell reminds me of Fat Pickpool. Um, Pickpool has that uh, slightly uh, herby, aniseedy uh, bit of citrus um, bite to it. Here it feels like it's, it's going to be a um, similar type of... Uh, 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 flavours, but with a little bit more muffin top. It's got a, it feels like it's got a little bit more flesh around its midriff. And that's just what it is. It feels uh, almost as if someone has put uh, a little bit of peach essence in some pig pool, because uh, there's this peachy, but peach melba, uh, so it's got that edge of, um, uh, if you have peaches with the ice cream and that little bit of, uh, of, of the raspberry sauce in there, uh, on top of a uh, a finer, sleeker pick pool, then you'd get something that's not dissimilar to this. So maybe you have the uh, pick pool with the shellfish, and when you move on to uh, the monkfish, or maybe some slightly, ever so slightly garlicky, truffly roast chicken um, on a summer's day, bring this out. It's uh, it's tasty wine and um, not hugely complex, but one of those where, yeah, what I, what I call an empty bottle of wine. You'd put the bottle on the table um, and people would maybe put, put a little bit in their glass, a little bit more, a little bit more, and then suddenly, oh, the bottle's empty. Which, for me, is as good an advert for a wine as however many points or however many medals it's got. Um, so, um, hey, Terret, Terret, not Ferret, Terret. See you soon.